A Minnesota woman charged for multiple Uber rides in New York City. There's a problem though. She hasn't been to the Big Apple in years. Fox 9's Ted Haller is here and Ted, how'd this happen? Not entirely sure yet, Randy, but here's what happened. Her Uber app shows that she started a, a trip somewhere in Brooklyn, then made her way to Manhattan, then journeyed almost all the way to Queens, spent some time in Atlantic Beach. It was a pretty cool 65 mile trip, but that's not the only joyride she wasn't on. It's disgusting, it's disturbing. If Mimi Daniel's Uber app was right, and it wasn't, she started her Saturday afternoon riding in an Uber SUV for nearly 32 miles in Brooklyn, followed by a meandering night trip of 14 and a half miles, ending her epic New York City adventure early Sunday morning with a 65 mile ride through multiple boroughs for a total cost of... It totaled $1,342. And in every trip, starting and stopping near the same spot, and every time the app said the driver was Jacqueline. Anytime they got a different driver than the one that they wanted, they would quickly cancel it and then request it again, and then they would get this particular driver. And in an Uber insult, Mimi's profile picture changed to show cash. Her first name... To rich. So they're bragging that they're making money. Mimi emailed Uber telling them she was in Minnesota. Eventually, Uber refunded the money, telling her, while it looks like your account was impacted, our team has investigated and found no evidence of a system wide breach at Uber. I just swore by Uber. But now I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know who's gonna, who's driving me. Mimi is upset. Uber never talked to her on the phone or told her they would look into what appears to be the same driver running up a bill for nearly an entire day of driving. I can't say that they are doing anything about it. I can't, I, there's no guarantee, there's no reassurance that it won't happen. And they haven't confirmed that they've taken action on this particular case. Now, an Uber spokesperson issued a statement to Fox 9 saying in part that maintaining the security of our systems is an ongoing priority at Uber and we continue to investigate this particular incident. Now, Uber also adding that the traceability of the app allows fraud to be quickly identified, but we're still awaiting more information on the role of this Uber driver in all of this, Randy. All right, Ted, thank you. Be aware, I guess.